Hello everybody and this is Dark Laser. We are coming at you today with a video of Onision's most recent um statement on his allegations. Now a few YouTubers have already done this already. I just wanted to give my take on it and read to you exactly what it says. No cuts, no edits, no bleeps like some people do. I try to give to you as real as possible, and this is exactly what he has said, word for word. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is an official statement. I'll put the uh, link or the image up on the screen if you want that as well. I will also leave a uh, link to where you can find them as well. Official statement. The internet is full of morons. Morons who will believe whatever they want to if it suits their narrative. You know this as a fact. If you want to take, if you take a five second look at politics. Really, the first thing he does is call everyone morons. The internet. Dude, you are part of the internet. If you are on the internet, that means you are a moron. Okay, that's a first off. Democrats are obsessed with hating on Republican leaders. Republicans are obsessed with hating on Democratic leaders. Despite the fact that all these people are probably mostly decent, they just have different opinions. Um, what we have, Onision, is not an opinion of you. This is an actual fact of things that you have done. Okay? What a weirdo. Alright. Now for internet culture. You, fr you friends don't like someone. A lot of times, that bandwagons to you, you wind up being an asshole just like them. Just blindly hating, never looking at the facts. First of all, what kind of language is he trying to type here? Because none of that made any sense. I, I get where he was going with it, but it makes no sense the way it's typed out. So, dumb motherfuckers, yes, I'm not trying to win you over because I don't care if you don't like me. You are all still in high school. What is with him in high school? Seriously. It's like he's mentally stunted at a high school level. I've been out of school for 10 years, okay? This internet drama, Outrage Culture, has canceled bullshit. Oh, sorry. This internet culture, this internet drama, Outrage Culture, and canceled bullshit is obviously, is absolutely ridiculous. You think it's okay to draw conclusions on people when you are not there. And you don't know the full story. That's why I look at you people like you're fucking retarded. You know, when you've been on the internet long enough, you kind of start to see a pattern with people. And when the evidence piles up, and you look at the uh, compelling evidence, which there is, um, there are people out there who have stockpiled everything against you. So calling us dumb motherfuckers is ridiculous, as you have said. You're part of outrage culture, Onision. You don't get it. You're you're calling everybody else out, but you're also calling yourself out. So <clears throat> I have been bombarded with messages saying pedophile and predator and every other horseshit accusation on a map for on the map for years now. It always comes from dumbasses I kicked out of my life saying one thing and people turn it into another. No, Nisian, you have been dating girls under the age of 18 and even marrying a couple of them. Your wife was, sorry, husband was 17 years old when you met them and married them at 18. Logic failed. Every hater I have encountered in a live debate 
good use of quotations there because you don't know how what debates work. Who has addressed this issue and admitted in live in front of me that they know damn well I am not a pedophile. Who? Why? Because you are a fucking idiot. I'm actually correcting this as my brain reads it, so it's very stupid. You need an actual kid in the picture to be a pedophile. You Did you even remotely consider this fact? Um, the fact is, Onision, 17, 16 years old, are still kids. -ah. And of course, he goes on to bring in Shane Dawson, because he's still not over it. For instance, a long time ago, Shane Dawson said that he thought a seven to nine year old was a was sexy, but later said he was joking. That's acceptable. He was joking about it. Apparently, it was off out of taste, but it was a joke. Maybe, in big letters, point is. You actually have a situation where Shane Dawson straight up called a kid that. Yeah, but Shane Dawson is a great person, unlike you, who actually dated and fucked minors. Now, do you have Onision calling anyone that anywhere? Yes, actually. No, you don't. Closest thing you have is that people have said Onision rated underage fans. Quotes. This is based on absolute horse shit. If you actually watch the videos, you find that the forum being ran on was 18 plus. Doesn't matter, dude. It doesn't matter. Whether they sent you a picture or not and you still did it, they're underage, dude. Haters don't admit this because they are lying tabloid scum. Thank you. Anyone in videos who is not 18 was not 18 because they were either unaware or lied to be there. Additionally, YouTubers had no problem with said videos because YouTube has had no problem with said videos because unlike Shane Dawson's joke, maybe it was a joke, not the point. What do you keep bringing that up? No actual kids were hit on or otherwise spoken horribly about. Yet, of course, Onision is not Shane Dawson. I don't actually have to do gross things to be called horrible names. Oh my god, you seriously cannot get the fuck over your, over Shane Dawson, can you? I mean, dude, what the actual fuck? On the ridiculous accusations coming from dumbasses I kicked out of my, of my life. So, you're calling every girl that you've ever dated and kicked out of your life <clears throat> dumbasses. Okay, we've heard the voicemails, dude. We, we know that you actually are so still in love with them. This can be summed up by one statement. <clears throat> I did not want to fuck you. I rejected you. And now you're mad, trying to demonize me so you can make sense of me not wanting to fuck you. Greg, nobody wants to fuck your stupid ass. Okay? Quit trying to say that. Oh my fucking god, Greg. Ugh. I swear, this dude cannot get over himself. He He's so self-absorbed in his own little world that he thinks whoever doesn't like him just wants to fuck him. Like, that's just like how a freaking teenager thinks. And of course... You know how Greg works. It's it's funny as hell sometimes. It's funny that it's sad. Alright, and I'll be right back. One second, we're going to put this next one up. Literally, most of all of us have gone through this. Speaking for everybody? Really, Greg? Some dumbass is a total creep, lies to us, straight up commits crimes. One idiot literally admitted to selling drugs Ill Who? Of course he doesn't put who. Dude, that's five years in prison, and yet people still support them because they're fucking idiots and no actual legal with no actual legal integrity. 
or cheats on us, and they go around telling everyone right after we dumped them, slash never want to see their piece of shit ass again, that we did something horrible. <laughs> you gotta laugh at this shit, because half of this shit makes no sense at all whatsoever. Listen, you dumb cunts. If someone did something horrible, you likely would have dumped them. It is all, it's always these rejected ass motherfuckers who go around talking shit. Just to admit someone didn't want to be with you and move on with your life. It's preaching to the fucking choir, Greg. Oh my god. God forbid I don't want to fuck you so you punish me? How fucking sick is that? Just more spins on the little wheel. It just goes round and round and round, doesn't it? Fact is, if I never dumped these people as friends or otherwise, they'd still be with me. Why? Because nine times out of ten, when there was a breakup, I was dumping them. Yeah, you were dumping them for someone else. Reality check. That's why I've been married so long. Seven years isn't that long, Greg. You've only been married. Well, you've been married for seven years, and I don't remember if Shy if uh, Sky was like three years or four years. I can't remember. <clears throat> Meanwhile, all these people question mark have heard a single success have heard of a single successful relationship they've been in. Why? Because most of them were dumped for a very good reason. Way to shame everybody, dude. Way to fucking go. Ex-wife. <clears throat> Extremely greedy. Used me for my money. Lied to me about love in the very in the first place. Wound up trying to get a quarter million dollars out of me when I left her. In other words, I was right about her the whole time. <clears throat> whole time. Sorry, I'm reading this as he's written it, and it's so weirdly put together like a freaking dumbass would. Because he doesn't know how to edit worth a damn. The grammar in this is so stupid. First of all, your ex-wife should have gotten half of everything that you've done. Because she started your channel. She helped you get famous. She was the one who was on the other end. And she deserved to get everything that you deserve, that you've had. That's how alimony works, dude. <clears throat> Canadian X, I think. I don't know who this one is. Literally cheated on me, got pregnant. I think this is with Billy or probably, I think. N no. I don't know who this one is. Cheated on me, got pregnant with another dude's baby, at one point threatened to kill herself and made it look like you did. It. Called the cops on her. They advised me to run away from her while she was taken back so she couldn't fuck up my life anymore. That's right. The cops took her away. And you guys sided with this chick who literally cheated on me, got pregnant with another dude's baby. Seriously? That's your reference? Oh my god. You got her pregnant. You were the one who, were, who was wanting her to get uh, aborted, dude. You're a fucking piece of shit. Quit trying to spin this like you're the vi He's spinning this so that he's the victim. Virginian X repeatedly broke the law. How? Lied to me repeatedly. No. Publicly admitted to being a liar and cheated on someone I love more than anyone. <laughs> Got dumped by me as with others. And what? Oh yeah, she must be right, because when people get dumped, it means the person who dumped them is at fault. Right, Internet? <laughs> I can't! I, I, my head is pounding because it's so stupid. Other exes, exes' friends, same story, different people. I don't accept liars in my life who are unapologetic about it. People who are obsessed with thinking they are right now. No matter how many laws they break, no matter how many people they hurt, and selfish things like cheating, they do. What, is, what even is that sentence? There's, there's no... <laughs> also, final note, 
the tabloid channels, you know, the people who gave up and making good content and settled for just talking shit. You mean response channels like me? Oh! <gasps> All seem to center on the idea that some kind of illegal shit ever happened. Even people I kicked out have claimed illegal stuff may have happened. And yet, these same people straight up admitting to committing felonies and lied to you about actually going anywhere to get justice achieved. Greg, Greg, James, Greg, James, whatever you want to go by, they, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but this statement is just, <laughs> this statement is so bad. It's so terribly bad. I got one more piece here, and this one, I, I, I don't know. If you guys like this sort of thing, just let me know. I'm sorry, everybody. People say, oh, I went to court, or, oh, I talked to the police, but this is all absolutely horseshit. I don't know why he spaced it this time. You know who went to the police? Me! I went to the police when my ex threatened to kill herself. Yeah, because you were filming it on camera and she was having a mental breakdown. And made it look like I did it. What? That wasn't even in the videos. I went to the police when my ex was body slamming into my doors because I had just broken up with her and she refused to give me my space. She wanted her stuff back, probably. And the poli and every time, the police sided with me. <laughs> I can't. It's just too ridiculous. Why? Because it seems like I'm the only mature human being in all these situations. We're talking about 30 plus year olds who even knew are still acting like children, lying and running around like they are always victims despite being the ones rejected. Who need to build a bridge and get the fuck up. Greg, these are teenagers that you were grooming and you had sex with them and lived with them. They're not 30 plus year olds, Greg. They're not. Mature human being. I thought you were a god, Greg. I thought you were some kind of like overlord or some shit. You fucking piece of shit. Yeah, so yeah. I see all of you as morons because you believe absolute horse shit. Space again. And you've had no apologies in large letters for it. Because you people are idiots. And if you want me to forgive you, well, I do. But not for you. I forgive all of you. For me. Have a fucking nice day. Oh my god. Could this not get any funnier? I mean, it's funny and it's sad at the same time. Now, that's his official statement on everything. If you guys like this sort of thing, I'm taking a little break from creepypastas. I'll be back to doing them tomorrow. I just wanted to get something out for you guys to watch and listen to. So, again, um, take care, everybody, and have a good day.